Hi yogis, welcome to my personal practice. Now today we're going to be working strength on our legs and strength on our arms. Now let's begin this by grounding our energy. Sit down either on your lotus or just an easy cross-legged position on your knees is fine too. From here, close down the eyes. Bring your wrists on top of the knees, maybe taking a mudra of your choice, either palms facing up or down. You can also bring both palms up towards the sky, right over left, and just breathe in and out. Begin to take deeper inhales through the nose. Longer exhales through the nose. Now let's take four counts to breathe in. Hold at the top and then breathe out. Breathe in. And then breathe out. Take one more. Okay, you slowly flicker your eyes open and then begin to roll down on your mat. We're gonna begin our core warm up. Now from here, just leave your soles of the feet down. Knees are bent, hands behind the head. On the exhale, crunch up and hold it here. Pull your belly nice and in. And then begin to lift a little bit higher. Tiny little pulses. You've got 10 more. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Keep pulsing. Lift the right leg up to the sky. You've got 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, keep pulsing from your right heel down to a hover. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, in three. Lift your right leg high and take a twist. Back to center and lower. Lift and twist. You've got ten of these. Noticing the right oblique squeezing your belly button in. This is where you begin to let go of anything else that is bothering you, such as thoughts, the past, that checklist. Take two more. And on the last one, hold your twist, hold it here. Now extend your left leg forward. Tiny little pulses, five, four, three, two, and one. Squeeze both knees into the chest and then rock your body from side to side. Nice. Now lower the soles of the feet back down again. Hands behind the head on the exhale. Crunch up and hold. Ten tiny little pulses. Really press your feet down, especially your heels and the ball of the feet. Eight more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Extend the left leg high, keep pulsing. Ten more. Bring your left leg down to a hover. Three, two, and one. Now lift and twist. Lower and back to center, lift and twist. Nice, 10 of those. Five more. Hold the twist and then take tiny little pulses for five. Four, three, two, and one. Hold it for one more second, and then squeeze the knees into the chest. <sighs> Rock from side to side. 
Nice. Now take your boat pose, your Navasana. Grab the backs of the legs and begin to let go. Let the toes a little bit higher, lean back into the sacrum, pull the belly in and then puff up your chest. Gaze goes where the wall and the ceiling meet. Bring it down to a hover, low boat, and then begin to kick your legs. Five, four, three, two, come back to stillness, squeeze the right knee into the chest, take it out long, now the left, switching out the legs, right, and then left. Option to bring your hands behind the head if this is too much. Come back to stillness, both knees in, come to the chest, squeeze. Inhale, extend, squeeze. Three more, make sure your low back is really pressing down on the ground. For that, you need to tuck your tail, pull the belly in. Last one, bridge pose. Lower the soles of the feet down, lift the hips high, squeezing your bum, pulling that belly in. Keep breathing, nice deep breaths. And then slowly lower your bum down, grab the back of the legs, and begin to rock and roll front to back. Now we're done with our core warm up. It was kind of short today. Okay, box pose. Cross the ankles, and extend the legs. Move your hips from side to side. Maybe you make circles. Maybe you take wheelbarrows by dropping the belly, making circles with your hips. Whatever feels good to you. Switch out directions if you need. Make those movements organic and then come back to center. From your down or from your box pose to your downward facing dog, tuck the toes under and then slowly lift up. Now we're coming down to a plank pose, lean forward. Round your spine, pull the belly in, and then soften the thighs when you get there. Back to your downward foot, facing dog. Same deal, rounding the spine, and then puff up your chest. Pull it towards the thighs. Two more. Round and take your plank. Round, downward facing. Last one. Round, plank pose. Round, downward facing dog. Nice, now lift the right leg up to the sky, bend the knee and step the hip, make circles or stay still. Now re-extend the leg, bring your knee to your nose. Salamba Anjane, foot in between the hands, lower the back knee down, lift the arms up and high. On the exhale, cactus up the arms, actively squeeze your shoulder blades together. Inhale, lift them back up. Palms to the heart, take a twist to so really use your exhale to take that twist. Take one more, warming up your body. Nice, now bring it back to center. Lower the left hand down, side stretch, right bicep stays by the ears, you can TP the bottom fingers. Bring it back to center and then switch it out. Right hand down, left arm high. Nice. Lift both arms up and then cactus up the arms one more time. Tuck the back toes under. As you extend the arms, lift the back knee away from the ground. Crescent lunge. So strong, your ease. Hold it here for three breaths. You can feel some buoyancy in your legs. Maybe moving up and down just gently, pressing your left hip crease forward. Prasadita, long edge of the mat, wide-legged fold. Breathe in, and then breathe out, fold a little bit deeper. Inhale, halfway up, lift the right arm to the sky, twist, so your spine is nice and long. Bring your hand back down, and then lift the left one up. Back down, and to the front, runner's twist. So walk the hands forward. Right arm up to the sky. Lower the back knee down, crooked monkey. Reach for the back foot, hip, <laughs> I mean heel or ankle. Lean back with your right shoulder, don't dump on the left one. 
slowly let go of the foot, keep the back toes tucked, and then lower the top hand down, forward fold. Find length, and then fold a little bit deeper. Move your legs around. If you want to take some twists here, you can. Got a couple more breaths. Okay, chair pose, Utkatasana. Bend the knees, squeeze the inner thighs. This is your first one, so be gentle with your body, be gentle with your mind. Pull the belly in, arms up, breathe in. And then airplane the arms, breathe out. Three more, breathe in, keep the knees bent. Breathe out, airplane. Breathe in, lift. Breathe out, airplane. Hold it here, bending the knees a lot more. Now lower the hands down. Inhale, halfway up. Walk the feet back into a plank pose. Lower down to the knees, then the chin, and then the chest. Sticking your bumps out. Slither through low cobra, bhujangasana. You have the option to hover the hands here. Squeeze the back muscles, pull the belly in, gaze is down, and then child's pose. Lower everything back down, hips into the heels. Breathe in, let it out through the mouth. <sighs> back to your downward facing dog. Lift the left leg high, bend the knee and stack the hip. Circles or stillness. Make sure both shoulders are pointing back. Re-extend the leg, three-legged dog. Bring your knee to your nose, salamba anjane. Lower the back knee down, lift the arms up. And then cactus up the arms. Actively squeeze your back muscles. Inhale, lift it back up. Exhale, twist, right elbow outside the thigh. Take your exhale to twist a little bit deeper. Two more breaths. One more. Bring your arms back up. And now lower the right hand down, side stretch. Left bicep stays by the ear reach. Bring it back to center, switch out the sides. Nice. And then slowly bring it back to center. Cactus up the arms, squeeze your shoulder blades to touch. As you extend the arms, tuck the back toes under, lift the back knee, crescent lunge, strong legs. Find your pose here, pull your belly, lower the shoulder blades. Nice, prasarita, long edge of the mat, wide legged fold. Find length as you breathe in. As you breathe out, exhale, fold a little bit deeper. One more breath here. And then inhale halfway up, twist towards the left side. So left arm to the sky. Your spine is nice and long, your hips are squared. Lower the left hand down, right arm to the sky, twist. And then runners twist to the front. Crooked monkey, reach for the back toes, foot or ankle. And then slowly let it go. Nice. Now keep the back toes tucked, forward, forward. Big toes to touch, fine length. And then fold a little bit deeper. Now your big toes are touching, your heels are slightly apart. Chair pose, Utkatasana. Breathe in. Degasana, the arms, breathe out. Keep the bend on the knees. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, airplane. Lift the arms back up. Exhale, airplane, and hold here for three. Keep breathing though. Two, and one, forward fold. Halfway up, walk the feet back, plank pose, knees, chest, and chin. Slither through low cobra, bhujangasana. Option to hover the feet as well. If you are doing this, keep your knees nice and straight. Hover the hands, maybe airplane the arms, reaching the fingertips back, three, pull the belly in, two, and one, lower everything back down, child's pose, breathe in, and breathe out through your mouth. Ah. 
Okay, yogis, so let's come back to our downward facing dog. And then slowly begin to walk the feet towards your palms. Forward fold once you get there. Now this time you get to grab opposite elbows and release the fingers behind your neck, maybe behind your back. And let the crown of the head be heavy. Okay, yogis, heel, toe, the feet into touch. Maybe you want to float them together. And then slowly rise up to standing. Urdhva Hastasana, take your arms up, your gaze up. Exhale, palms to the heart, close down the eyes just for a little bit. Taking some time to realize the space you are creating for yourself. And sometimes it's not about what we're doing right now, but about where this is taking us. So enjoying all kinds of processes is good. All the transitions on your mat and off the mat. And for today, just let's feel gratitude that we are present, that we have the ability to move, to breathe, and to think. Now slowly release the arms by the side body, samastitihi. Let's take our Surya Namaskara A. A come, lift your arms up, gaze up. Exhale, do A, fold. Trini, halfway up. Shanvari, you can walk or float back, Chaturanga. Pancha, upward facing dog. Shut, exhale, downward facing dog. You can shake your head yes here, no, back to yes again. Take one more breath. Sup down, your next inhale, walk or float, top of the mat. Find length and then Ashtao fold. Nava, rise up. Dasha, palms to the heart. Samastitihi. Ekam, arms up, gaze up. Dway, fold. Trini, halfway up. Shadvari, chaturanga. Pancha, upward facing. Shut, exhale, downward facing dog. Just one more breath here. Sabda, on your inhale, top of the mat. Ashta, fold. Nava, rise. Samastitihi. One more time. Ekam. Dway. Trini. Shadvari. Pancha. Shut. Right away. Sabda. Top of the mat. Ashtao. Nava. Samastitihi. Let's say one more. Honoring our breath. On your own. When you're done, let's all meet in our downward facing dog. Okay, yogis, from your downward facing dog. Bend the knees, walk or float, top of the mat, fine length. Fold. Rise up to standing. Palms to the heart. Chair pose, Utkatasana. Lift the arms high. Bend your knees a lot, take a deep inhale here. 
Exhale and fold. Halfway up. Walker shoot it back. Chaturanga. Upward facing. Downward facing dog. Step the right leg forward. Warrior one. Rise up. Exhale. Brings you back down. Chaturanga. Upward facing. Downward facing dog. Step the left leg forward. Warrior one. Rise. Exhale. Brings you back down. Chaturanga Dandasana. Downward facing dog. Bend the knees, walk or float, top of the mat, fold. Chair pose, Utkatasana, Ekam, Dway. Three knee halfway up, Shat body, Chaturanga. Pancha, upward facing, Shat, downward facing dog. Sabda, step the right leg forward and rise up. Ashtao Chaturanga. Nava, upward facing. Dasha, downward facing. Eka Dasha, left leg forward, rise up, warrior one. Duo Dasha, Chaturanga. Trior Dasha, upward facing. Shator Dasha, downward facing dog. One more breath. Pancha Dasha, top of the mat. Shoulder shot, fold. Sapta the shot, rise up. Samastitihi. Let's do this one more time. Chair pose, breathe in. Exhale, fold. Halfway up. Walk and shoot it back. Upward facing. Downward facing. Maybe you lift the right leg high. Hop your step. Warrior one, rise up. Chaturanga your way. Left side. Downward facing dog yogis. Spread your feet as wide as your mat. Right hand grabs the left ankle and take that twist. Bring it back to center, switch it out. Left hand grabs the right ankle and twist. Now bring it back to center. Okay, lift the right leg up to the sky, knee to your nose, crescent lunge. Slowly rise up, engaging your legs, your belly, open arm twist, right arm goes to the back. Take your gaze with your right fingers. Warrior two, open up the arms, settle in. Inhale, reverse. Side angle pose. Charge to the back. Take your time to pivot. Lean. Now switch up the legs. Step the right leg forward. Step the left leg back. Charge your lunge. Hold it here for three, two, and one. Runners twist to the front. Right hand down, left arm to the sky. Optional wild thing here. You can stay on your side plank. You can take it all the way around. Standing splits. Step the left leg forward and lift the right heel high. Kundalini squat, right knee behind the left, palms to the heart. Now we begin to move, lift and lower the back heel or the back uh, knee. Slide it against your calf, maybe you tap the ground. Keep pulling the left or the right heel into the bum. Two more. Make it all the way down, seated twist. Left hand behind you, right bicep by the ear and take that twist. Breathe in, elongate that spine and breathe out. Deeper twist. Nice. Now boat pose, Navasana, lean back using your hands and extend both legs. Now come down to a low boat and then lift it back up again. Boat to low boat, you've got five. You can stay still on your boat pose. Ooh, four, three, two, and one. 
And back to your downward facing dog, rock and roll. And down dog. <sighs> Left leg up to the sky, crescent lunge. Rise up. Open arm twist, left arm to the back. Warrior two, open it up. Inhale, reverse. Side angle pose. Breathe in and out. To the back, charge your lunge. Biceps stay by the ear. And switch up the arms. Left leg steps forward, right foot steps back. Hold it here for three, two, and one. Runners twist to the front. Take your time. Wild thing or just side plank. Softly with control. Standing splits. Flip it over. Left heel high. Kundalini squat, left behind the right. Keep pulling that heel into the bum, palms to the heart. And then slide it up and down. You've got about five more. Try to come as low as you can. Two more. Make it all the way down, seated twist. Right hand down, left bicep by the ear. Enjoy your twist. Slowly let go of the twist. Come back to center. Boat pose. Navasana. Lift those legs high. Either stay or lift them lower. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Back to your downward facing dog. Okay, now on this one, you can hop, switch your step, crescent lunge, and we're gonna move a little bit faster. Rise up when you're there. And then palms to the heart, twist. Warrior two, open it up. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle pose. Now to the back, charge your lunge. Bicep stay by the ear. Switch up the legs. Listen up to the front, skandasana. Slowly bend your left knee. Now wild thing or side plank. Standing splits. Kundalini squat. Just hold here. Slide it all the way down, take your twist. Breathe in. And now twist deeper. Boat pose. Three, lift and lower, so just hold. Two. And one. Downward facing dog. Left leg, crescent lunge. When you're there, exhale and twist. Warrior two, open it up. Inhale, reverse. Side angle pose. Charge to the back. Switch up the legs. Skandasana to the front. Bend the right knee. Wild thing or side plank. Standing splits. Kundalini, hold. Slide all the way down, seated twist. Boat pose for three. Two. And one. Downward facing dog. One more time. Right leg up to the sky. Hop switch, crescent lunge. Take your twist. Warrior two, reverse. Side angle. Charge to the back. Take control of your feet. Switch up the legs. Left leg steps back. 
to the front skandhasana slow movement wild thing chamakarasana standing squats flip it over kundalini squat all the way down see the twist breathe in take the twist boat pose just one breath and then downward facing dog left leg right lifts crescent lunge twist when you get there warrior two inhale reverse side angle pose to the back charge your lunge and then switch up the legs skandhasana to the front wild thing standing splits kundalini slide all the way down taking your twist boat pose navasana and then downward facing dog nice yogis Ooh, okay now from your downward facing dog come down to your plank pose so lean forward stay here take three optional push-ups two and one back to your downward facing dog skip your chaturanga right leg up to the sky crescent lunge rise up breathe in back to your plank pose stay here or optional push-ups three two and one downward facing dog left leg to the sky crescent lunge rise up exhale back to your plank pose optional push-ups three two and one right leg up to the sky you can always hop switch your step or hold your handstand exhale back to your plank pose hold or three push-ups downward facing dog left leg up to the sky crescent lunge Ooh. plank pose hold or three Ooh, one more right leg up crescent lunge plank pose <coughs> hold or take three downward facing dog left leg up yes you can crescent lunge rise up this is the last one plank pose after that you got rest at least for your shoulders Ooh, downward facing dog you did it ah lift the right leg to the sky knee to your nose warrior one softly set the back foot and then lift up interlace your fingers to your low back puff at the chest this is the release for your shoulders humbly bow forward lift the fist away from your low back as much as you can and then let your head go soften a little bit and then lower your left hand down runners to us you can lift your back heel away from the ground nice back to your plank pose extend your right or lift the right toes three-legged plank knee to opposite tricep three-legged dog bend the knee and stack the hip wild thing chamakarasana if you want to take it deeper go for it one more breath back to your three-legged plank bring your knee to your nose three-legged dog knee to your nose crescent lunge slowly rise up breathe in 
Warrior C, airplane the arms. Lean forward, float the back foot. And then begin to bend and straighten the standing leg. Stay very strong on your torso. Your belly sucked in. Two. And one. Goddess pose. Softly land. Toes are out. Heels are in. Hands behind the head. Left knee to the elbow or to the <laughs> left elbow to the right knee or to the left knee. Side to side. Just tapping out, squeezing your obliques, pulling the belly in, puffing at the chest, tailbone down. Three, two, and one. Come back to center, to the back, runner's twist. Left arm to the sky, and then left hand comes down, half moon pose. Adha Chandrasana. You have the option to begin to float your bottom hand if you want. Maybe like serving a tray in front of you. Both hands come down, forward fold, big toes touch. Standing splits, lifting your left leg. Now you can take it upside down here to a handstand or stay here. We've got about three more breaths to play around or stretch. Slowly begin your descent. Your right leg is down. Okay, your east pistol squat. So bring your left foot besides the right and begin to bend that right knee. Keep your left heel pushing forward. Try to keep your bottom heel down. If you want, you can grab the foot in front of you. If you don't, you can keep your hands down. Now from here, Utita Hasta A variation. If you can come up from here, go ahead and lift. If you can't, just press your hands down and lift yourself up. From there, lift, left piece fingers, grab the big toe, lift up with your left leg. Option to bring your right bicep by the ear, and then take it out to the side. B variation. Hmm. Nice. Now bring it back to the A variation, and then take your wide-legged chair pose. So your feet are nice and wide, as wide as your hips. Bend the knees a lot. Now you can bring your palms to the heart. You can keep them up, and then begin to pulse your hips up and down. Squeezing your bum muscle, your belly is in, just for five, four, three, two, and one. Lean towards your left foot, warrior C, lifting the right leg, airplane the arms. Hold it here. You're staying still, lift the back heel a little bit higher. Nice. Crescent lunge, lift the arms high, palms to the heart, take your twist, right elbow outside the thigh. Keep your palms together for this one. Bring your gaze down, step the back foot in, keep the twist. Chair pose, Utkatasana, lift the arms up. Palms to the heart, lift or twist towards the right. Now open up the arms. Take your side crow if you wanna fly. Slowly bring it back to your chair pose. Utkatasana. And then step the left leg back. Warrior two facing forward. Take your time. From your warrior two, inhale reverse. Side angle pose. Open up your arms wide. Now side plank. Lower the right hand down. Vasishtasana. If you want, you can bring your big toe with you. Tuck the tail under. Squeeze your obliques. Now if you have your toe, let it go and then squeeze your knee into the chest. Everyone, squeeze the top knee into the chest. Crooked side plank, switch up the arms, keep the knee where it is. Now you have your left hand down, your right arm to the sky. Hand behind the head. Stay here or take the crunches, elbow to knee, squeeze. You got eight. Seven, 
six, five, four, yes you can, hold it there, you got one more, plank pose, both hands down, straighten up the leg, lower the right elbow down, forearms, and then lift them back up, press into the hands, lower down to the forearms, lift it back up, try to keep your heel, your hips nice and still, Squeezing your inner thighs, pulling the belly in, maybe spreading the feet a little bit. You got one more. Stay down on your forearms and begin to walk the toes into the elbows. <sighs> Keep walking the toes, even if your arms are shaking, that's fine, squeeze in. You got five more. Resist that temptation to come down. You can do this. Two and one, walk the feet back. Hover the right toes and then extend the left bicep by the ear. Hold it here. Spinal balance. Five, four, three, two, and back to your downward facing dog. You can lower the toes down. Ooh, breathe in and out. <sighs> okay, from here, bend the knees, walk or float, chair pose, top of the mat. You can find some hang time if you want. <sighs> Utkatasana, chair pose. Now lift the left foot away from the ground, eagle wrap. Left arm underneath the right. Lean back with your shoulders, pull that belly in. Keep the arms, unravel the legs, double lunge. So take a medium step back and bring your back knee down to a hover. Lean back with your hips. Nice. Now charge, just extend that back leg, lean forward, keep the arms. Back to your double lunge. You've got five of these. Breathe in and out. Pull the belly in. On the last one, keep your double lunge. And we're gonna hold or pulse it here for five, four, three, two. Try to keep the arms where you're seat. Lean forward and then float the back foot. Find that balance. Squeeze the back side of your body. Release the arms. Dancers pose Natarajasana or standing bow. Interlace the fingers and reach for your foot. <sighs> Crescent lunge, let go of the foot. Land softly. Palms to the heart twist. Now open up your arms and take flight. If you're into the revolve running man, go ahead and take it. I'm gonna turn this way so you can kind of see it. You can exit out by switching the legs, runner's twat or running man. Back to your downward facing dog when you're done. And please take your time. Everyone else, let's take a couple of breaths here on your downward facing dog. Maybe walking the feet. Maybe you need a rest. Come down to your child's pose. But you've got one more breath. Okay. Plank pose. You can drop the knees down if you need to. Hold or take three push-ups. Two and one. Downward facing. Left leg up to the sky. Crescent lunge. Step it forward. Rise up. Got three rounds. Back to your plank. Three or hold. Downward facing, right leg high, crescent lunge. Rise up, bring it back down, plank pose, three or nothing. Downward facing dog, left leg high, crescent lunge, I'm doing it with you. Come on, you can do this. Plank pose. Downward facing dog, right leg high, crescent lunge. I believe we've got one more, plank pose. Whew. I can 
can feel it. Crescent lunge, plank pose. Downward facing, right leg. Plank pose, I'm gonna take my knees down on this one. Ah, downward facing dog. Left leg up to the sky, warrior one. Take your time, interlace the fingers, puff up the chest, humbly bow forward. Ah. Rest your arms here, the shoulders, nice little stretch. Hmm. Runner's twist, lower the right hand down, left arm to the sky. Three-legged plank, left leg lifts, knee to opposite tricep, tap. And then three-legged dog, bend the knee. Open up the hip, wild thing, chamakarasana. Take it a little bit deeper if you want to. Back to your three-legged dog. Knee to your nose, squeeze it in. Three-legged plank, and then three-legged dog. Knee to your nose, crescent lunge. Slowly rise up. Airplane the arms, warrior C. And then bend and straighten the bottom leg. Move slowly with control, regain your breath. Two more. Goddess pose, toes are out, heels are in. Bring your hands behind the head, right elbow to the knee, tap. Back to center, switch it out, and then move side to side. Five, four, three, two, even out your sides. Come back to center, to the back, runner's twist. Right arm up to the sky. Lower that palm down, half moon pose, lean the back foot, or lift the back foot. Hmm. Option to hover the bottom hand. Maybe serve your tray in front of you. Forward fold, both hands down, big toes to touch. Breathe in, lengthen, breathe out and fold. Standing splits, lifting your right leg up to the sky, take it upside down or stay here. Take one more breath. Get ready for your pistol squat. Bring your back foot be, uh, besides the left and sweep it forward. Begin to bend your left knee. Maybe you grab the foot in front of you, maybe you don't. No worries. If you're standing up, stand up with your foot. If not, bring your big toes to touch and then right piece fingers, grab the big toe. Rise up. Take it out to the side with control. Bring it back to center. Wide legged chair pose. Keep your feet wide, arms up, and begin to pulse it up and down, squeezing your belly in. Lean back to your heels. Five, four, really squeeze your bum muscles. Three, two, and one, lean towards the right foot, extend the left leg back, warrior C, airplane the arms, hold still here. Crescent lunge, land softly, lift the arms up. Palms to the heart, twist. Take your gaze high. One more breath here, keep your thumbs to your sternum on this one. Gaze comes down, step the back foot in, twist the chair. Come back to your chair pose, your Utkutasana. 
and then twist to the left side. Open up your wings, take your time, and then side crow. Come back to your chair pose, your Utkatasana. And then step your right leg back, warrior two, but facing forward. So take your time to pivot, bend the front knee. Inhale, reverse, side angle pose. Land the right hand down, left arm high. And then side plank, Vasishtasana. Grab your big toe with your right piece fingers. Maybe you just stack the feet. Either way, lift the hips a little bit higher. Now everyone, bring your right knee to the chest. That's the top one. Switch up the arms, keep the knee crunching to your chest. Left arm to the sky, crooked side plank. Top hand behind the head, and then squeeze your elbow towards the knee. Extend and squeeze. You got eight more. Six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Yes, you can, plank pose. Lower your left elbow down, then the right one. Come back up. Lower it back down to the forearms, and lift. Forearms, and lift. Three more. Yes, you can. Hips are still, belly's engaged. Last one, stay down on your forearms, walk the toes in. Ooh. Mm. Maybe you take your pinchas mayurasana. So inversions are not happening for me today, that's fine. Keep walking the toes in towards the elbows. Pull the belly in, one more. And then back to your forearm plank. Walk the toes back. Hover the left toes. Extend your right arm. Hold it here. Spinal balance. Squeeze your core in for five, four, three, two, and one. Downward facing dog, lower the toes. Woo. Bend the knees, walk or flow, chair pose, top of your mat. You're almost done. Find length and then fold. <sighs> Chair pose, Utkatasana, pull the belly in. And then lift your right foot, eagle wrap. Right arm underneath, squeeze it all in. Hold it here, lean back with your hips, shoulders back, let the elbows away from the chest. Keeping the arms warrior C. Sweep it back. Double lunge, lower the back knee down, charge. Double lunge, and then charge. You got three more. Keep the arms, keep leaning with your elbows. Crown of the head, pull the belly in. One more, hold your double lunge. Pulse it or stay here, keep leaning back. Feel the back toes, three, Two and one, keep the arms warrior C, take flight. Release the arms, either dancer's pose or standing bow with both hands. Crescent lunge, slowly let go of the foot, let the arms up. Exhale, take that twist. You know you're done. Open up your wings. Revolve running man, lower the hands down. And then take flight. When you're done, bring it back to your downward facing dog. Remember, if you switch your legs, go ahead and do that now. Ooh. Okay, downward facing dog. <sighs> awesome job, you guys. We've got this. Lift the right leg up to the sky, knee to the nose. Inhale, lift it back up. Knee to the nose. Just one more. Pigeon pose. On the right side, slide the left foot back. 
<sighs> Take your time to puff up the chest. Maybe you grab your back foot with your same side hand. <sighs> I do need this stretch. No, Yogi, it's about right now you get to experience the feeling. The feeling of all the stretches we did, the holds, the pulsings. And now our body and our mind can put all of that together. And you begin to find the blissful moment. Walk the hands back, three-legged dog, lift your right leg up to the sky. Maybe you bend the knees, stack the hip circles. Or maybe you just lower the toes back down. Left side, lift it up. Knee to your nose, just three times. Inhale, lift. That's two. And then the third one, you lower down. Pigeon pose on the left side. Maybe your Ekapada Raja Kaputasana, reaching for the back foot. And that feeling is good. It's a feeling of a body well loved, a mind well loved, and a space well loved. What yogis call samadhi or bliss. Now yogis, when you're done, you can take your downward facing dog, maybe circles on your hips. But if you want, you can also just slide the back like forward. And then make your way all the way down to your mat. Now you can take three back bends here, and I encourage them. This is where you open up your body the most at the end of the practice when our body is warm. So give that a try. Maybe it's just a bridge pose, maybe it's a full wheel. Give something a try. Now take one more. This should be your second one. And your last one. Try to make it meaningful in a way that you're letting go mentally of the pose. Just experience it physically. Notice how your legs feel, your feet. The opening on the chest, the thoracic spine, the heart space. And then slowly, when you come down, notice each and every vertebra connecting to the ground. Once you're there, keep your knees bent, and then windshield wiper your knees from side to side. 
If you want, you can squeeze your knees into the chest. Otherwise, just find your Shavasana. Now in your Shavasana, let go of any thoughts. Don't focus too much in them, just have them dissipate like clouds. Notice the feeling of your body, of your skin, any tingling sensation, warmth, maybe a cool breeze. Now stay here for as long as you want, keeping your eyes shut. And I thank you all so much for practicing with me. I share my love with you from my heart to yours. Namaste.